family mode. Call the meeting of the Middletown Board of Estimate meeting to order. Uh, myself and Alderman Massey present. Absent is Mr. Rodriguez. And we'll go right to the agenda. Item number one, Chief Awancho requesting the approval to authorize the treasurer to transfer within the police department budget lines the following or in order to cover shortfalls. Um, personal services, 100,000 to overtime. Personal services, 1,650 to background investigations and personal services, $660 to cover drug testing. Um, the following is to offer a shorter payment for the initial 2022 payments of the Avon program, or Axon program, I'm sorry. Axon did not advise us of our 222 obligation until the bill was generated for 23. So from personal services, $4,800 to contractual services. <coughs> we also have personal services, 45,000 to repairs, and that's to cover a shortage and repairs budget line, specifically the increase in vehicle maintenance and camera repairs. And then the last transfer is from personal services, 9350, 9350 to equipment. And that's for the three additional speed radar signs for placement throughout the city. So motion by myself. I'll second. Seconded by Mr. Massey. Any need for questions or comments? Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item two, uh, Jacob Tweel requesting the approval to award the bid for lights at Wolfslayer Field to the only submitted bidder, Harry Rotolo and Sons, in the amount of $278,142.24. It's an alternate price for color lighting would be an additional $58,000. Publicly advertised bids were received and opened during the Board of Estimate meeting on October 23rd, 23, with a total of one bid received for this project. A bid recommendation from project architect Aegis, Aegis um, Design, Joseph Fucci, for the contract award is enclosed. Funding for the project is made available from the Parks and Recreation Department, capital hookup fees line, and so it's a transfer from Debt service fund balance of 278-142.24 to Wolfslayer Field Lights Capital Project. So I'll, I'll make a motion that we accept the bid for the base bid of the 278. I'll second. Seconded by Mr. Massey. Um, Leonore, it's coming from debt service fund. Is that where the... That's the capital fees, okay. All right, so all in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> Item three, Jacob Twill requesting approval to authorize a bond resolution in the amount of $3,506,810 to pay for the additional cost of constructing water uh, storage tanks. Total cost of, ER, of ERC, or EFC financing is eight million eight hundred six eight nineteen. Motion by myself. Second and by what? Do you have anything to say? Just asking. Do you have anything to say? You need a second to get it on the floor for discussion if you want. Second. Second by Mr. Massey. So um, so is this an additional three five three million five hundred thousand dollars. Yes, you can. Yes, that's why I asked the question. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good afternoon. So, um, way back when we started this project, it was about five million dollar plus. It was funded by the city of Middletown, uh, water and sewer uh, water funds, basically, and um, it was all funded by by the city. And in the meantime, we applied for grants from the uh, EFC and low interest uh, fund financing, and we qualified. So we have like $3 million, 2.9 something grant. The balance of it is gonna be for, um, the balance of it is for the uh, uh, fund, uh, interest paid by the state revolving fund, or low interest loan by the state revolving fund. It's not funded by them, it's funded by us. Um, so the prices went up and we added a tank to it. Before 4 o'clock. 
so the prices went from uh, the project costs went from five to eight plus million dollars because we added more another tank to it and that will help us out and that got approved by the uh, EFC so that's where we are so the EFC requested a new bond resolution to replace the old one all right did you answer my question now yes Mm -hmm. I did. You were this talking in addition to, to Council President. The three and a half this three and a half million is new money that's needed to do the project? Yeah, not from us, from the State Revolving Fund, yes. We're gonna be borrowing it, yes. We're gonna be borrowing an additional yeah. uh, yes, but three million dollars we could not, we did not count on as a grant came to us because we applied for the grant from EFC. Does that make sense? No. Okay. So the project started as five plus million dollars. That was for two water tanks. Yes. Now we got three. So we added a third. Yes. We added. We incorporated. Since we had more money coming in, we were approved for for more money. We added another tank, which is Highland Avenue repainting. But the money didn't come in as grant. The money came in as a loan. No, three million dollars of which two point nine something of which is a grant. The balance is the loan. That is lower, usually it's lower, you pay lower interest rate because it's funded under, under, so under the So out of this rating. total cost of $8.8 .8 million, how much is grant and how much is loan? Three, under $3 million is grant, which we did not have before. We started the project without knowing that we're going to get any penny from anybody. And now we got everything by the City Revolving Fund, thankfully. Okay, any further questions? The, please note for the record that council president did arrive uh, during the discussion. We're on item number three. So no further questions. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Item four, requesting approval uh, of the 2024 Marshall and Sterling Workman's Comp proposal for January 1st, 24 through December 24, 31, 24, an amount of $49,000. Motion by myself. Second. Seconded by Rodriguez. Leonor, this is the, um, the analysis of workman's comp claims, and it includes 207C? Yes. And does it include, it includes 207A also now, correct? Correct. Right. And it hasn't changed, right? It has not e? changed. No. All right. So motions by myself, seconded by Rodriguez. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item five, Maria Bruni requesting authorization to accept the municip municipal legislative grant from the County of Orange in the amount of $4,999 and to authorize the mayor to sign any and all documents pertaining to this grant. The legislative sponsor for the project is legislator Michael Paduke. Also requesting authorization for the treasurer to establish a line, Paramount Municipal Legislative Grant Expense for the amount of $4,999 and funds will be deposited to the account line A2807 Orange County Theater Grant, and they will be, the funds will be applied to the purchase of a canopy for the stage at John F. Degnan Square. Motion by? Motion. Rodriguez. Seconded by? I'll second. Mr. Massey. Have you want to understand it? Maria, what would be the total cost of the canopy? Um, app, uh, do you have a uh, budget on that? If it has to be structural. The initial canopy is one of the pop-up ones that we did get a price around this, 4900 uh, But we're looking into other options. So. Okay. Well, please thank Mr. Paduk for his efforts on our behalf. Motion is by Rodriguez, seconded by Mr. Massey. All in favor? Aye. 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 Item six, Maria Bruni requesting the approval of a temporary borrowing from the general fund balance in the amount of $500,000 as seed funding for the purchase and installation of the 150 decorative light poles and light fixtures for streets and sidewalks in the downtown. The temporary borrowing will be reimbursed by the $500,000 DASNY grant award secured by Assemblywoman Gunther. The total cost of the estimated project is $600,000 the city will match the funds at a later date 
once the project has started for the remaining $100,000. So it's a general fund balance of 500,000 to light pole replacement with the understanding 500,000 will be paid reimbursable, it's a reimbursable grant. Motion by myself. Second. Second by Massey, any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Item seven. Leonora Liz is requesting the approval of amending the bond resolution for PPU extension on the ADA sidewalks and ramp improvement project from five years to 10 years. The original bond amount in 2020 was $4,342,000. Motion by myself. Second. Second. By Rodriguez. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item eight. Orange County Youth Bureau has approved the RFP application for funding in 2024 with the department head discretion. The funding will come from New York State Office of Children and Family Services, Youth Sports Education Funding. The goal of the funding is to provide our youth with sports and education opportunities and support to improve youth and community outcomes in specific life areas. The Middletown Recreation Department will receive $12,510 for the Middletown Recreation Young Warrior Boxing Program and 25,000 for the Middletown Fitness Program, Recreation Fitness Program. In order to receive this funding and apply for future funding in 24, the Recreation Department is requesting the approval to authorize Mayor Stefano to sign any and all necessary 2024 contracts and request for funding in, return, in relation to the Orange County Youth Bureau on behalf of the City of Middletown. Motion by myself. Second. Seconded by Mr. Massey. Any questions for no. Ray Lynn? She's here. No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We have water, re uh, not a water request, a request for lawn maintenance adjustment. And the owner's requesting that the fee be made, waived, because it's his first offense, and that will never happen again. I don't think we have any basis for He, um, they reached out to me, and, um, it wasn't that high. I mean, I'm I'm okay with the, uh, you know, usually it's three feet, four feet high. And well, there's some pressure here. There. Let's see what it is. But you can look. Um, he always mows his lawn. Not and, always. Oh. And you, if you can tell, I mean, he's... It, well, there's pictures here. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Tawil, you want to come up and look at the pictures? Yeah, they don't look that bad. Let's reduce it to 50. You got the before and afters? And they, we have videos of the city going over there and just weed whacking and leaving the, the yeah, I see it. and the sidewalk covered in grass and where he had to come home and clean it. We still don't have lawnmowers. When we doing this? Yeah, we do. Or we, we don't leaf blow? Of course we do. Clippings, but of course we do. The picture, it looks so clean, very clean sidewalks. It wasn't. Well, is this a before and after of so the, who, of who the work that we did, or just a before and after picture? He had to come home. According to Leonora, because I was not involved in this, it's before and after. They're provided by uh, our department, by Brian, yeah. Brian is the one who takes these pictures. Before he goes, before he cuts it, and right after. Well, do you see a problem with the with the lawn there, Mr. Tuil? Yeah, it, it was high. I mean, I, you know, that's a decision they made, and they usually they send the letter. They don't go cut it right away. He always cuts his grass. We we never go after people who have four feet high. Well, I think it's a dangerous precedent to set for, if the excuse is it's my first time, I think the only issue is whether this justified being cut. I, oh, I in our I, opinion, yes. In, yeah. I, that, that's, that's your opinion? In our opinion, opinion, yes. How many times have we been from April, May, June, July, and I show you pictures of grass this high, and we, don't, we, we haven't had the time or to get to it? This guy, he says he cuts his grass all the time. He's never had a problem, and now we, he gets he gets... This, we're nitpicking right here. It's not even six inches high. 
Yeah, it's not a punishment. They're just trying to comply with the code. Honestly, it was a they're not picking. Because you went over there, you on sent it. somebody, and you cut it, and you charge them a hundred dollars. Well, that's the code. And, and, that's the city code. Listen, it's the judgment that code enforcement made to write the violation. Brian, he gets the violation after it's all done, after the five days are over. So we can look into it further if you want, Mayor. About you know when when the violation was written, I can interview the code enforcement officer. It's the first time for me I see these pictures, but usually what happens is the code enforcement officer writes the violation, takes the picture, sends a letter five days later. If the, they go check on it, if it's not cut, they give the list over to the my, Brian my, Smith. My only, my only input is, is that I think it's a dangerous precedent to say to waive it for the first time. Yeah, he didn't say it was but really. If it's, if it's the it's, council president. If you don't know, he... Uh, I, I thought in the in the letter. Uh, is there a chance to reduce it? it hold on. Um, in in his comment to Marsha, the owner asked for a loan maintenance. The amount of uh, one hundred dollars be waived, as it's his first offense. So it's not that it wasn't justified. What's the difference when people use water? We always justify and, and lower or re reduce it. I mean, we, we do reduce it, it because of a leak. Uh, because of a leak, we don't reduce it because. It's high. We reduce it because there's a reason. But I don't th think you're going to give everybody. I mean, I'm, you know, you guys do what you want, but I think it's a dangerous precedent to set. The um, even even to uh, even to reduce it. I mean, if if he's claiming that it wasn't done because the it didn't deserve to be cut, that's a different story. And I can't really tell by the picture whether it's an excess of. Of any any six inches. six inches, but even if it was seven inches, I mean, was that a reason? Why why did they pick this house? I guess is well, what he's saying. They go what? around, Joe, and they find code enforcement as they drive around the city. In there, they make a note of high grass, and we try to address it obviously with the five day letter. And if it doesn't work out, they go cut it. So it must have gotten their attention. It's not picking on them. It's just, uh, you know. Well, um, maybe you can look into it and find out what was done. Was there a five-day letter sent and all that information? Absolutely. And then we'll uh, be happy to. And then come back to the next meeting. Want to table it? Table it, yeah. I'll mo make a motion table. Oh, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, no other business. Motion to adjourn.